Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. China's chips are no longer a follower, but a leader. From obscurity to now dominating global chip research and development, what did China do right? The Georgetown University report caused a global shock revealing the secret weapon of China's chip overtaking, independent innovation, alternative paths, and ecological construction. The previous technological blockade has stimulated the vitality of China's chip industry, and a brand new chip world pattern is taking shape. I recently read the Georgetown University report which said that China's chips have overtaken the curve and become the leader. To be honest, I couldn't believe it at first. After all, China has been stuck in the neck for so many years. Can it really turn around so quickly? After carefully studying the content of the report, Combined with the developments in the chip industry in the past two years, it feels a bit different. In the past, it was always said that China had many papers, but the quality was not good. Now the data is there. China not only publishes the most chip-related papers, but also has the highest citations. China accounts for most of the top 10 research institutions in the world, which shows that China's basic research has really come up. More importantly, China has begun to exert its strength in cutting-edge fields such as neuromorphic computing and photonic chips, which is to seize the commanding heights of the next generation of chip technology. In the past, when it comes to chips, we can't avoid lithography machines and EDA tools, which are all strangled by foreign countries. But in recent years, China has begun to play, overtaking on the curve, and find a new way with asymmetric innovation. For example, the optical transmission chip developed by Zhejiang University and Peking University directly bypasses the process limitations of silicon-based chips and achieves ultra-high-speed computing. There is also Shenzhen Gijian Semiconductor, which has developed the GS32 DSB chip based on the RISC-V architecture. The performance is 30% higher than similar foreign products, and the cost is 25% lower. It has quickly replaced imported products in the field of new energy vehicle motor control. This is the reel, hitting the snake at its 7 inches. More importantly, SMIC's 14 nanometers process has been mass produced, and 7 nanometers is also being promoted. Huahong Semiconductor's power semiconductors have also become the top three in the world. These are all real progress. Coupled with the breakthroughs in chip design by Huawei High Silicon, Zhiguang Zhanrui, etc., the industrial chain of domestic chips is gradually improving, and the self-sufficiency rate is also steadily increasing. Although there is still a gap in EUV lithography and high-end EDA tools, China's progress in the chip field is visible to the naked eye. The focus of the future Sino-US chip game is likely to be on three directions, neuromorphic computing, chiplet heterogeneous integration, 
and open source ecosystem construction. China has invested heavily in the research and development of brain-like chips, which are a hundred times more energy efficient than traditional chips and have great potential in the fields of autonomous driving and artificial intelligence. Advanced packaging technology can also bypass the limitations of high-end lithography machines and integrate chips of different processes. There is also the RISC-V architecture, which now has a penetration rate of 40% in China's automotive electronics and industrial control fields, forming an independent instruction set ecosystem, which is crucial to breaking the foreign monopoly. China's chip industry is no longer a simple imitation and catch-up, but is taking a path of independent innovation. From the accumulation of basic research, to the breakthrough of applied technology, to the construction of an independent and controllable industrial ecosystem, China's chip industry is reshaping the global landscape. In the past, technical standards in the chip field were all set by the West, and now new standards such as RISC-V and photonic chips led by China are challenging the traditional system. In terms of supply chain, Southeast Asia and Central and Eastern Europe are also becoming secondary supply chain hubs for Chinese chips. The rise of China's chip industry has not only enhanced China's position in the global science and technology competition, but also provided new development models and opportunities for other countries. Although challenges still exist, the future of China's chips is full of hope. China's chips have broken through the technological blockade and led the world in cutting-edge fields such as neuromorphic computing and photonic chips through independent innovation and ecological construction. RISC-V architecture and advanced packaging technology are reshaping the industrial landscape and the future of China's chips is full of hope.